natural disasters cause widespread destruction of life and property. Today, let's discuss about one such natural disaster, earthquakes. Earthquakes are caused by the sudden movement under the surface of the earth. These often cause strong vibrations or tremors on earth's surface. These tremors are called earthquakes. The place of origin of an earthquake is called focus. The point on earth's surface that lies directly above the focus is called its epicenter. An earthquake causes maximum damage near the epicenter. The intensity of an earthquake is measured by an instrument called seismograph. The Richter scale measures the force of an earthquake. If we have a reading of 2 or less on the Richter scale, then it's called a minor earthquake. But if the reading on Richter scale is 7 or more, then it's called a major earthquake. Many strong earthquakes are accompanied by several smaller, low-intensity quakes called aftershocks. The scientific study of earthquakes is called seismology. Earthquakes cause a lot of damage. Buildings collapse. Roads get damaged. Earthquakes damage railway lines and bridges, even cause dams to burst. Earthquakes are very common in the Himalayan region of India. Earthquakes are hard to predict. However, we can take the following precautions during an earthquake. If you are indoors, drop cover and hold on. Get under a table or bench. Hold on to one of the legs and close your eyes. If there is no table and desk, sit against a wall away from things that might fall on you and away from windows, bookcases or tall heavy furnitures. Wait in your safety spot until the shaking stops and then check to see if you are hurt. Check around you too. Move carefully and look out for fallen things. They may be aftershocks, so be prepared to return to your safety spot. Although they are a member to the family, pets can frighten other people. In case of an earthquake, Calm your frightened pets and leash them firmly so they won't run away. Do not use lifts and elevators during or after an earthquake. Use the staircase instead. But if we are outdoors and in case we are traveling, we should get out of the car or bus immediately. The roads of the disaster areas could be full of wrecks and debris. If you don't use your car, ambulances and fire engines will be able to go as quickly as they can. If you are outside, then stay outside and away from buildings, trees, lights and power lines. Crouch down or cover your head. Be on the lookout for fires. Keep a disaster supply kit ready at all times. You never know when you may need one. The kit should have all important materials, a first aid box and some food items. Buildings in quake prone area should be made of light material and should be quake proof so that they do not cause much damage to life and property. Earthquake drills should be practiced in all schools. We will learn about more natural disasters in my next presentation. Till then, goodbye, thank you and stay safe.